What's up guys, Shane Starnes here with Droid Motor X. I've been using the LG G6 now as my daily driver device for the past couple of weeks. I even took it with me to Orlando on a family vacation to Disney World. And I have to say, while I've heard lots of complaints about the battery life, I'm just not seeing it. The battery life has been pretty awesome for me on this phone. This is my quick battery life review for the LG G6. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we'll start out with my battery life from today. As you guys can see, it is seven o'clock in the evening. I actually woke up today at seven o'clock and the moment that I woke up, I unplugged the phone. So what we still have here is 23% battery life left. And I got a, quite a bit of use out of the phone today. So we'll go into our settings, we'll go into battery and power saving. You guys can see that we're at 23% discharging. Estimated time remaining is three hours and 21 minutes. If we go into battery usage, you guys can see that I've been off the charger now for 12 hours and 51 minutes. If we scroll down, oh, you know what, I'm sorry. I didn't wake up at seven o'clock this morning. I forgot I woke up at six o'clock this morning. I guess I got out of bed at about 6.09. It's when I unplugged the phone from the charger. And if we go down to screen, you see we're at four hours and 10 minutes with 23% left. So this is trending at at least four and a half hours, maybe five hours. And this is probably the best battery life day that I've had on the phone so far. If we go into the gallery, I'll show you guys some screenshots that I got of the battery life itself. On this day, I had gotten up to 16 hours and 32 minutes of use, still at 39% and I had two hours and four minutes of screen on time. So I was trending towards three and a half to four hours, which is not great, but considering that I was able to use the phone for nearly 17 hours that day, um, that was actually pretty decent. Okay, this is the day we were in Magic Kingdom. We woke up that day at about six o'clock and got to the park at seven o'clock, and then we stayed until midnight. So I got lots and lots of use out of the phone and I didn't have any way of charging the phone in the park, but yet it still had 34% left that day, which is pretty incredible. If we go over to the left, you see that I had the screen on for two hours and 27 minutes. Now, when you're in the parks, uh, you do wait on rides. The longest we really had to wait was about 20 minutes. And of those 20 minutes on those waits, I probably pulled out the phone and checked Twitter or Facebook uh, or just did some regular web browsing. I didn't have enough time to sit and watch videos while in the park. Uh, so that's probably why we're at only two and a half hours of screen on time while we're in the park. Obviously, when you're on vacation, you wanna spend time with your family and not just stare at your phone. The next day I did have 15 hours and I was at 59% when I took that screenshot. I was at about two hours of screen on time. So we were trending to go well past four hours. Okay, this was another long day in the park. I had 19 hours. This may have actually been the Magic Kingdom day. I had 19 hours and nine minutes of battery usage during that day, 25% still left and I was at three hours and 28 minutes. So once again, we were gonna get more than four hours of screen on time had I continued to use the phone. But just the simple fact that it's able to last 19 hours during the day, you're normally not going to be awake that long during the day. So because the phone does have doze built in, uh, when the screen's not on, it is just very lightly sipping on battery. The phone has incredible battery life when it is just in standby mode, and it only really consumes battery when the display is on, and still, you're gonna get four to five hours of screen on time, which is average to better than average. As far as I'm concerned, any phone that is able to last the entire day without needing a charge, is great in my book. What kind of battery life have you experienced on your LG G6? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.